Welcome to another video. This is another integration problem from the G-Advanced examination. Um, the first time I saw this problem, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to do it using brute force. So I took two derivatives of 1 minus x squared to the fifth, and so I got this. It was a chain of polynomials in different factors. I expanded everything and multiplied by 4x cubed, and um, I got a long polynomial which I was able to integrate and I evaluated from 0 to 1. The 0 to 1 evaluation is pretty nice because everywhere you see 0, everything disappears. And if there's a 1, you just take all the coefficients and you put them together. Yes, um, it was nice, but that only worked because I was not taking the test. If you're taking the test, nobody expects you to do that because that's going to take you a long time to accomplish. So. The better strategy is integration by parts. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. Let's get into the video. So whenever you do integration by parts, you have to always decide which one am I going to integrate, which of the two factors am I going to differentiate. Now, so it looks like this is already being differentiated, so you do the opposite, you integrate, and this is easy to differentiate, which makes our life a lot easier. And just so I don't repeat all of this, I'm going to call this I. So let's call this guy I. So now I know this is the guy I'm going to differentiate, so I'm going to say let you before x cubed and then I'm gonna say let dv be d2 dx squared of 1 minus x squared to the fifth okay so I got these two guys I need to differentiate this I need to integrate this differentiating this makes my life easy du is going to be 12 x squared and then v will be the integral now integrating this is just removing one of the derivatives so this is going to be just d dx no more d2 dx squared so it's going to be 1 minus x squared to the fifth now what does it mean well we know that when you do integration by parts you're saying that this original was u dv okay so this i is u dv, and u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So we say that i is equal to uv, uv is going to be 4x cubed times d dx of 1 minus x squared to the fifth. Okay, minus the integral of v du. v du is going to be this times this. So the product of these two is going to be 12x squared times this. Okay, because this has a 12, I can pull the 12 out. It doesn't matter. So I can write minus 12. Okay, and then I write x squared times d dx of 1 minus x squared to the fifth dx. Okay, so this is now for this one. I can actually immediately evaluate from 0 to 1 because I know what it's going to look like if only I can differentiate this, okay? And this is going to go from 0 to 1 also. So let's put the boundaries 0 to 1 and this, ah, this is tight. Okay, we got 0 to 1. So I can't evaluate this, but I know how to differentiate this, so that makes life a lot easier for me. I'm going to be able to differentiate this, and I'll need to know how to integrate this. What's the best way to integrate this? You know what? I'm going to do both of them separately, uh, maybe somewhere here. Let's take care of this first. So we know that 4x cubed multiplied by the derivative of this is going to be, applying the chain rule, it's going to be 5 times... 1 minus x squared to the fourth multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is negative 2x. Okay, so if we multiply this out, we're going to end up with 4 times 5 is 20 times 2 is, times negative 2 is negative 40. 
x to the fourth. Ah, so we got i equals negative 40 x to the fourth. And then we have 1 minus x squared to the fourth. 1 minus x squared to the fourth. Evaluate it from 0 to 1 minus. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm just going to write this as j, okay? So, because I, so I can do the work later. So, we're going to do minus 12 j. So I call this integral j. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this is because you'll notice that the next focus we're going to have is just going to be on this guy. Why? Because if you evaluate this expression, if you let's plug in zero first. I like zero. If you plug in zero here, this is going to be zero. Zero times anything you do is going to be zero. Good. Let's plug in one. Well, if you plug in 1 here, it's going to be 1 minus 1, which is 0. 0 times anything is 0. So you notice that all of this will disappear so that what is left is just negative 12j. Is equal to negative 12j. So all we have to do is focus on j. Okay, this is j. Now I'm going to do the same thing, integration by parts. Now I just thought of using the di table which i usually would use but the di table doesn't help here because if i'm integrating i cannot keep on integrating because of this five here is going to make life almost impossible so and this five is never going to go away because you still have to keep doing u substitution uh, so um but one u substitution is sufficient so that's why i'm going to say again let uh, we use uv before i can use uv and again i don't care Okay, let u be equal to x squared, and let dv be d dx of 1 minus x squared to the fifth. Okay, so I know that du is 2x, and I know that dv, sorry, not dv, v, v will be equal to, if you integrate this, this goes away, so you have just 1 minus x squared to the fifth. Okay, so we can say that j equals uv, which is x squared, into 1 minus x squared um, to the fifth, evaluated from 0 to 1, just as we have it here, minus the integral of v du, this times this. Oh, we're going to pull the 2 out here and write just x. So just like what happened here, where the 0 and the 1 were nicely giving us zeros here, the same thing is going to happen here, because when you evaluate plug in 0, this gives you 0, plug in 1, this gives you 0. So whatever you do here, this is going to be 0. So that tells us that ultimately our j is just this guy, is negative 2 times the integral, hey, from 0 to 1 of x times 1 minus x squared to the fifth dx. Okay. And now I can see the future from here because the derivative of the inside is negative 2x. I can see it, that this is negative 2x. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move this negative 2 inside. Ah, let me see how to write this. Okay, watch this. This is going to be the same thing as the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x squared to the fifth times negative 2x dx times negative 2x dx. Okay, let's put it this way. Why did I do that? Because of the u substitution I'm going to do. Look, let, ah, oh, doing another u, let's do t this time. Let's do let t be equal to 1 minus x squared. So you see that dt equals negative 2x 
dx. That guy. So that means this integral j is equal to, oh, we need to change the boundaries also. So the boundaries will be um, also from here, when x is 0, t is 1. And when x is 1, t is 0. So t evaluated at 0 equals 1. And t evaluated at 1 equals 0. So the integral we have now is in terms of t, and it goes from 1 to 0. Instead of from 0 to 1, and we're going to have, um, this is going to be t raised to power 5, and minus 2x dx is now dt. Nice. If you integrate this, this is going to be t to the 6 over 6. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 6, t to the 6, evaluated from 1 to zero. Do you know what that is? This is equal to, if you plug in one, no, let's start from the top. Plug in zero, you're going to get zero. If you plug in one, you're going to get one over six. So this is zero minus one over six, which is equal to negative one over six. That's our J. <sighs> but what are we looking for? We're looking for i. i is negative 12j. i equals negative 12j, which is negative 12 times negative 1 over 6. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.